okay so so you know you're gonna need two repair couplings which doesn't have a stop in the middle of it and not just one if you're putting in a T inside of a wall in, in a uh, existing plumbing that's cemented in the wall uh, this is already connected to uh, a fixture and it's and it's in there and it's not movable because you don't have room to snake this in there if this fitting this uh, nipple was this big this PVC piece of pipe was this big and you slid the repair fitting all the way onto it although that's not a good idea because this uh, cleaner would bind it up but even if you had done that there's no way you're gonna snake this fitting into there because there's an inch and a half that goes in here so it would have been too big to get to uh, maneuver that in there so this has got to be shorter this nipple here has got to be short well what that does is that means you're gonna actually have another space in here that you have to accommodate for with another piece of plastic so you're gonna need two repair couplings one to slide this way and one to slide that way there's other ways to do this but uh, there's ways to do this I think that I've never done it but with uh, threaded pipe but really I think this is the only way that uh, you're going to do this uh, <clears throat> with an existing structure an existing uh, PVC drain waste vent system Try to spare you all the cuss words. <laughs> okay, uh, we're just about there with that. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold this. <laughs> okay, I was able to snake that in there and. Fortunately, you get enough of this to catch on here. And now I am using a stone set, which is like a, a, a masonry chisel, but it's not really a masonry chisel. A stone set is for cutting stone. And we're going to hammer that onto there, and then we got to move this one onto there. <laughs> 